Hi guys, this is Gary with RE Paint and Supply. You can find us at repaintsupply.com. Today we're going to be going over the U-Pole Raptor system. Um, we've got a little uh, John Deere lawn trailer that's got some rust on the inside and, and uh, some bare metal exposed and just some scuff and scrape marks. And I'm sure many of you have a trailer very similar. Uh, but this is a good process we're going to go through to, uh, to recoat the inside of that bed. We're going to start out by using the spray-on heavy-duty degreaser and then we're going to rinse that well and dry the trailer and then we're going to come back with uh, spray max wax and grease remover and this this product here is an excellent product or any kind of wax and grease remover you really need to use prior to the painting process this is going to help get any kind of contaminants or any kind of oil or grease that's on there that that the uh, the spray on didn't remove okay u-pole raptor has two different products to deal with bare metal they've got the u-pole Raptor Acid Etch Primer, and that is very good for any type of bare metal that you might have, just clean bare metal. Then they also have a 2K um, Raptor Epoxy Anti-Corrosion Primer. Um, that primer there is probably by far my favorite choice. It's designed to go direct to metal, and it's going to take care of any kind of corrosion that may be already happening there. Um, excellent product and this is by far like I said my favorite choice they also make the Raptor products in, in six different colors they make a black a white a basalt gray a red and a sepia brown they also make an olive which we are out of stock at the moment but uh, they do make that olive green as well and as with all of these products because they're all 2k and they all require the activation process there's a red button on these caps that come off and they attach to the bottom of the can and you push that act push that activation button in and that releases the activator inside of this can. Once you've done that, um, we highly recommend before you spray that you wear a respirator. This is extremely important. Um, this is going to keep you healthy so you can continue your projects. Um, as well as we recommend wearing gloves if you have those and we also, you know, like latex gloves or nitrile gloves, that's something of that nature. Um, and if you have like a coveralls, something like that, that would be great, um, whether you buy the Tyvek coveralls or maybe just use old clothes because this stuff's kind of going to go everywhere and uh, you can ruin some clothes pretty quickly. So let's go ahead and get started on this. Okay guys, we're going to just kind of come in here and we're going to 180 grit this out and uh, try to clean some of this rust up, loose paint, that sort of thing. Uh, then we're going to come in with the truck bed liner here in just a few minutes. Alright guys, so we've got it cleaned up and sanded really well um, and we went ahead and used the uh, wax and grease remover in there and uh, now we're ready to get in there with epoxy primer and spray some epoxy primer and, and, uh, and clean this thing up. So stay tuned and we'll get this done. Okay, so we've shook it about two minutes, and now, as always, when you're using a 2K product, make sure you wear a respirator.
Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if you did and you found it um, informational, we ask that you would like us and subscribe to us. And also, if you don't mind, click the bell notification. That way you'll know when our videos get posted and you'll be one of the first ones to see it. Thanks, guys.